The question is, what should the Steelers do with Bryant? The answer is, you keep him the rest of this year. You're trying to win a Super Bowl, right. yeah. and you trade him in the offseason. You do have to trade him in the offseason because, look, there's a lot to say here. He hasn't gotten his money yet. And there are perverse incentives in the NFL, right? Like, the incentive for the player is very much opposed oftentimes to the incentive of the team. For example, Martavis Bryant's presence on the field makes it easier, at least, you know, in theory, in theory. for Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, right? Because if this dude, who's that tall and that fast and has good skills, can get behind the defense at any time and all that, although he's not open enough for a guy given all his attributes, I don't think. But if he can, and you have to worry about that, what are you going to do with Antonio Brown, who you really should be doubling, and Le'Veon Bell, who's the most important player on the team, and all that with a great quarterback and a good offensive line, and now a good defense maybe? It's a nightmare. So his presence enables him to be targeted only twice and still have a positive effect. There's only one ball. There are only so many plays. So he's the odd man out there because he is the third best offensive weapon on the field for Roethlisberger. Now, two targets is too few. We right. all agree. But that's his value to the team. And the fact that he's making noise now in a win when the team finally, they just whooped up on Cincinnati. Here's the thing about Martavis Bryant. Martavis, they whooped up on Cincinnati. Your team did. You guys did. And you only got targeted twice. You know how scary that is for the rest of the NFL? They only looked his way twice, and, and, and they whooped Cincinnati. Whoa. That's part of what the Steelers are trying to do. So... If you're Pittsburgh, you can't disrupt what you have now. But if this guy is that unhappy, and you understand he wants to be a rich man, why not? He, he has the ability to be one, but not on this team maybe. Maybe he has well, to go the elsewhere other, the, the other part in the offseason. He's not wrong. If, if, if his account wasn't hacked, let's say it wasn't hacked, and he said that about Juju Smith-Schuster, who is a fine football player. He's good, but he ain't much. He's not Brian. wrong. Right. He's a better talent than Juju Smith-Schuster. And Juju's not getting a ton of targets either. It's about getting the ball to Le'Veon Bell and throwing the ball to Antonio Brown. That's the game plan. But do you know what the first play of the game was yesterday? It was a reverse to Martavis Bryant. Not a handoff to Le'Veon Bell, not a pass to Antonio Brown. It was like, you know what? Let's just get the ball in your hand. Because sometimes in the flow of the game, whether it's the, the way the defense is played or whether it's the checks that Ben has to make or just being comfortable with a play or a player, it flows that way. Um we got to throw this out. I have an obligation to throw this out there. It is possible that even though I believe the Steelers should target him more, and you all agree, it is possible that they don't want to catch themselves in a situation where we grow too dependent on this dude, and then all of a sudden another violation comes up. We might not be able to trust him. He's not, Juju is not the talent that he is as a second rounder out of USC. He still has some developing to do, but he's got a lot of promise, and we like him. But the point is, is that this kid is hungry. He's not complaining. He's just going out there, putting in the work and doing the job. And we may feel that he is more trustworthy than Martavis Bryant. And that may well, be a agree. We agree about this real quick. We agree about this. You're 6'4 and can fly and have the talent he does. You should get paid somewhere at some point. And if you don't, that's on you. But the other thing is, too, just real quick. We talk, you always talk about the weed. The, the problem that I have with weed is not that that makes you a bad person, and that it leads to decision-making right. if you can't stop it in order to make your money. That's, that's yeah. my same here. These, these things that he's doing now, whether he's hacked or saying these things and wins, it's leaning to him not making good decisions because there's better ways my issue, for him to handle my this. My issue with weed, it has nothing to do with the drug itself. It has everything... Oh, no, to, no I'm it, agreeing it, with you. It, yeah. it has everything to do with it's costing you money. If it ain't costing you money, do what the hell you want to do. Ain't none of my business.